Um, please don't leave me. A little cat with paralyzed legs was calling for its mother desperately out of fear. It used all its strength to climb up a step in order to catch up with its mother. Finally, it managed to cross one step, but was then blocked by another one. Unable to walk properly, it could only look helplessly at its mother going away. Suddenly, someone opened the door, and the terrified cat struggled to hide in the corner with all its strength, because it only felt safe there. At night, the mother cat appeared again and slowly walked towards the corner after careful observation. Shortly after, the mother cat turned around and left. Coco hurriedly followed, looking around and calling for his mother non-stop. However, the mother cat did not leave. She was silently guarding from a distance. Coco's eyes were filled with heartache and helplessness. As he couldn't get his mother's response, Coco cried with tears in his eyes, and he could only lick his injured leg helplessly. At this moment, he wished his mother could accompany him. The next day, the mother cat came to visit Coco early in the morning. Every step she took, she was very cautious, afraid of revealing her child's hiding place. Meanwhile, Coco was already waiting for his mother's arrival. And so, day after day, the mother cat took care of Coco. A man said that everyone wanted to rescue the kitten, but its vigilance was too high and it was difficult to catch. A kind-hearted girl nearby often brought food for Coco, but he was still very scared. He did not eat immediately, but kept calling for his mother. Only with his mother's company could he eat at ease. In order to rescue poor Coco, the girl invited a professional rescue team to help the next day. At this time, the mother cat appeared on the wall, watching the people's every move from afar. The rescue team moved the heavy cabinet away, and Coco, who was curled up in the corner, looked at the strangers in fear. The rescue workers found Coco very resistant when they picked him up. Inside the cage, Coco looked helpless, staring at his mother not knowing what would happen to him. After witnessing the entire rescue process, the mother cat jumped off the wall and disappeared on the street. After a series of examinations, the doctor said that Coco's spine was broken in many places, and half of his body had lost sensation. The damage was caused by human actions, and it was a miracle that he was still alive. It turned out that the little cat was beaten by bad people shortly after it was born. He mother cat had no choice but to wait until the bad people left before she could approach and take back the baby, who was covered in bruises. In order to prevent Coco from being hurt again, the mother cat took Coco to this hidden corner. She knew that fewer people around would be safer, and she was afraid of Coco being found by bad people. The mother cat chose to separate from her child, but she never gave up on feeding Coco and often watched over her child from a distance. Perhaps this was a painful decision for both of them, but for the sake of survival, the mother cat made her choice. A few days later, the doctor began surgery on Coco, but found that most of the nerves in the kitten's body had been severed by the broken bones. So even if the surgery was successful, Coco would not be able to walk normally. Without anyone to care for her, Coco would find it difficult to survive on her own. With the doctor's careful attention, Coco's body recovered very well. He was no longer afraid of humans like before and even played games with the doctor. Despite being different species, they could still feel each other's kindness. At the same time, Coco also found a kind-hearted owner. A young lady decided to adopt her. Although she lost her freedom to walk, Coco met someone who loved her, I think. Compared to her previous life as a stray, Coco is now lucky and happy. Usually, the young lady helps Coco with massages. Even though the hope of recovery seemed slim, she still believed that miracles could happen. With the young lady's persistence, after a month, Coco finally regained some feeling in the second half of her life. When the young lady massaged Coco's tailbone, Coco would turn around and look back. Perhaps one day, a miracle would truly come to Coco, to help Coco adapt. They even customized prosthetic legs for her. At first, Coco was afraid, but with the young lady's patient guidance, Coco began to slowly adapt. He seemed to have discovered a new world and finally experienced the joy of running again. When one door closes, another window opens.